Welcome to Stone Magpie. You'll see on my table I've got the DIY Moonshot Mystery all ready, covered with the release papers. A different way of working for me this time. I normally do two rows of release papers and then move them down as I work along each row. Because this is a mystery, I am going to be doing sections separately this time and I'm going to do them randomly. So if you do not want to see the mystery picture, then please do not watch the DIY Moonshot videos. I always do like to encourage you to watch the channel. However, I am going to be doing spoilers. I am going to be showing each section being worked on, sometimes in whip and chats, sometimes in a short, and sometimes I will put the pictures on Instagram. And that is because we've got 38 sections here <laughs> and I don't think you'd be able to cope with 38 whip and chats. <laughs> so I will be taking photographs and putting them on in Instagram and my Facebook Stone Magpie page. So if you've not joined those, then please do so. It is all free of charge and then you'll be able to keep up with the news as I work on this diamond painting of course to see the finished result and to see the videos the youtube videos for this picture please do subscribe it is always appreciated and thank you to everybody that has done so already and left comments and likes and shares it's really really greatly appreciated okay so which section are we going to be working on for the first section i am going to do a random number generator and sometimes I will count across the rows to find the section I'm going to work on and sometimes I'll count up and down the rows to make it even more random. I really hope that you like this idea and are going to follow along. Okay let's get going. Okay here is the random number generator that I use so we need to put in 1 to 38 and generate a number. Number one? Oh, wow. Right, well, number one is where I usually start. <laughs> okay, so here we go for section one, top right-hand corner. I've got my large cover minder here that I made and I'm going to fold back the protective cover. Although I've put all of the release papers on, I've kept this on because there are little gaps in the release papers, and I have, to, I have used my tab method. So once we do random sections, I will have to perhaps take them off and fold them vertically instead. We'll see how we get on with that. Okay, so this one has got two magnets on the back because he is rather large. But isn't he cute? I need a name for him. Right, making sure we've got him attached. And then let's see the section that we're going to be working on. Ta-da! Any clues? <laughs> so I hope you've had enough warning that this is a mystery and there are going to be spoilers. I am going to be working on this and placing the colours down. So if you don't want to see the mystery picture and how it's turning out, please do not watch any further. It's actually quite tricky to see any detail in this section at all, so it is a true mystery. And what I have decided to do since some boxing and kitting up if you remember, or if you saw on those videos, I got two L symbols. We've got 783 and we've got an AB742, quite different in their colorways. I have decided to put them down as ABs because they will be easier to spot if I do want to change some out for this color. I may do a mix and match. I might keep them all as ABs. So I am going to put down any Ls as AB. All right, let's get going. Now I have never worked on a DIY moonshot canvas. I don't know how close the canvas is. I'm hoping it's a really tight one with it being a black and white. So we're starting with the H symbol. 
Woo, starting with a really gorgeous pale turquoise colour. I do have my dryer sheets in the pots, so hopefully that has helped with any static. So I'm going to keep those in there. And let's get diamond painting. I hope you're diamond painting along with me. Ooh, what a beautiful colour. Now, I do do a little bit of faffing when I first start until I know what the canvas is doing. So if you see me moving them around slightly, that is the reason why. But they do seem to be sitting nice and snug. Hurrah! What I have found a little bit with this canvas, when I was putting the release papers on, etc., is it does curl up a little bit at the edges. You may see it's just lifted a bit in the corner. So I'm hoping they will stay fairly flat as we're working on it. But if not, I will have to put something heavy on in between the times I'm working with it. This canvas does have a slight shimmer in the canvas itself. Now, it is actually, I don't know if it's because my eyes are not used to it, but it you do really have to search for the symbols. Sorry if you can hear Monty scratting. We've had quite a busy morning, Monty and I, this morning. We went for our, our nice walk along the countryside, saw the bees in the bumble tree. Sit down, good boy. And then we came back and we did a bit of gardening. Yeah, so sorry if my nails are a little bit um, muddy. I did try and clean them really well before starting. I forgot to put my moisturiser on though. Yeah, we did a little bit of gardening. We started over the weekend and I just needed to do, well, we started with phase one of the gardening, should I say, which was cutting the lawn and doing a little bit of sweeping and a little bit of weeding, not much. That's phase one. <laughs> phase two this morning was trimming back some of the dead shrubbery while the sun shone because the forecast was not great. I did a wash, got it on the line, hoovering, bits and bobs like that this morning and then the rain started. So it's currently raining. The washing is now back inside. <laughs> So we've had a busy one. Also, my mum bought me a really cute wooden planter. Sorry, I do have to search out these symbols. I'm finding them quite tricky to pick out. So I think it's going to be a case of going back as I see things. But that's okay. Get the majority in and then have to fill in any that I missed. So I'm hoping that that's them all and there's no H's screaming out at you and you're shouting at me. <laughs> right, H. Next we'll do D. I tend to go down in a line and go to the next symbol. So we're going to go do capital D next. What colour will that be? A sky blue but as I was saying that is not the colour of our sky here at the moment ours is more that colour and darker <laughs> but you know when you see clouds and they're grey clouds you just need to think there are blue skies behind those clouds and we will see it again one day <laughs> Yeah, so mum got me a lovely wooden planter for Easter. So I also planted that up this morning and it's got strawberry and mint seeds in. And it did say easy, easy to plant. Well, I have to say it was easy to plant. Whether anything comes up through the compost, <laughs> 
will be another matter. So it is currently in my utility on the windowsill and I must remember to spray it with some water every now and again. So apparently that's what I'm supposed to do. And it did say to moisten the compost. And of course I poured water into it, but it wasn't like, you know, outside you water the plants and it soaks in nicely. It sort of drenched it a little bit. So <laughs> we'll see if they come through in about, it said about 10 weeks time, got to be patient. Um, then I will agree that it's easy. <laughs> if it doesn't, then I will argue the easy part of the marketing on that one. <laughs> I just have to remember to spray it. Right, D's, that's what I'm looking for. Mm, I can't see any more of those, so we'll go on to Q. Ooh. I was expecting it to be a blue and it isn't. It's this lovely dusty pink colour. Oh, how lovely. Okay, there's just one there. Ooh, I wonder if this is like a blossom or something in the sky. Right, I can see a little line of them across here. And here. Mm, maybe not blossom then, because that's quite solid. Uh, space. Mm, questions, questions. Oh, it's so fun, isn't it? Guessing what the picture is. Too early to tell so far. So yes, I hope you all had a lovely Easter time. And oh, do you know what? Do you know what I've forgotten in my excitement of getting started? I've forgotten my cup of tea and my chocolate. So we'll have to rectify that once I've finished these Q symbols. I'll have to go and grab myself a cup and share my chocolate with you. So yes, I hope you all had a wonderful Easter and were treated to either lovely yummy chocolate or plants or anything that you find lovely. How did you spend your Easter? Did you spend it with family? Did you do lots of diamond painting? It can go either way, can't it, as diamond painters? We either get a lot more time to diamond paint in these bank holidays, or it works the opposite way, where we've got a lot of family to catch up with and we don't get any done. I had a bit of a balance this year, I have to say. We saw the family, Ben came over, we went to mum's and had some lunch. And in fact, mum and I did an unboxing. So that will be coming up for you to watch soon. I have to get the go ahead from mum that she's happy with it. <laughs> before I put it out there. So as soon as we've got the signed agreement, <laughs> I will be uploading it for you. Oh, it was fun. So yeah, watch out for that video too. Um, yeah, so we, we got that filmed. Yeah, so, and then I've been working on my crystal ball, diamond painting. <gasps> Yeah, I've had a bit of both. It's been so lovely and I've been so grateful for this long weekend. I mean, honestly, I think the final week of work before the weekend happened 
Oh, we were on countdown and yes, certainly ready for a break. So, so welcome. And I think sometimes when you're on a countdown, you know, <laughs> it seems to take even longer to, to arrive, doesn't it, sometimes? But, you know, having a working life and a play life, <laughs> being creative, it does give you an even balance in lifestyle. So I am very grateful that I can do both. Okay, look at that. No idea. Oh, I've seen another queue though. Spotted another one there. That might make all the difference. Hmm. Right, I am going to quickly go and make myself a cup of tea and get some chocolate beside me because I think I'm going to need the energy. <laughs> okay, the world is a good place again. <laughs> I've got my chocolate. I have got my Easter egg bits and some lovely truffles and some mint thins. So take a pick, share and share alike. We're all friends here. So what would you go for? Yummy, yummy. I've also now got my lovely cup of tea and I've got it in my diamond painting cup, which it's got like dots on it. I don't know if you can see it actually and I can't tip it up because the cup's full. <laughs> so all is right with the world again. Got my snacks, got my diamonds. Oh, right, X next. Ooh, got a bright red. Is it bright red or is it orangey? Again, Monty is scratching. I'm so sorry that you can hear that. So it is, oh, it's like this coral, but it's a bright coral with more of a reddy hint than an orange. Oh, it's a beautiful color. So yes, I wasn't expecting these colours in it to be here. Really interesting. So much fun not knowing what you're diamond painting. You just hope <laughs> that you're going to like the picture once, you, once it's finished. But you know, diamond painting for diamond painting's sake is also lovely, isn't it? <laughs> Enjoying the colour, the placing, just the craft itself without knowing what the picture is too. Okay. I think the one thing I would say about these is trying to find the symbols. It is definitely trickier, I'm finding than when you've got the coloured squares. So it's probably a little bit slower for me. Slow me down a little bit. Look at this. This might give a bit more detail as well, actually. I don't think we've got any up here. Any more of a clue? Doggy says no. <laughs> He's got all his colours as well splattered about. He's been a messy old doggy, hasn't he? <gasps> Ooh, now we're on to A, which is this very, very dark blue, 939. So it is going to be quite a contrast. Oh, oh, it's beautiful. Right, is that it for there? Oh, wow. Any more capital A's? Oh yes, there's a 
little splattering here. So I had some lovely comments from people when they watched the kitting up video. Thank you so much. And um, I always love to hear how you're working too. And it was quite funny because I hope she doesn't mind me saying, but Karina mentioned that she was doing a diamond painting by with her kitting up done by symbol for the first time, which is the way that I prefer to work. And <laughs> it was quite funny. She said that her inner monk was struggling with it a little bit. <laughs> and I loved that. I was like, oh, she's got an inner monk. I want something. You know, like when you're trying to, you're trying to work a different way. It might be with me and my sections, actually. Um, when I come to do the random sections, my inner thing might also scream and shout at me. But I, I did comment and say, mine isn't going to be a monk, my inner something, because that's a bit wholesome <laughs> for me. So I think my inner thing is a goblin. <laughs> I think my inner goblin is going to be shouting at me and wanting me to do the next section in the line. But I'm going to tell the goblin off and tell him not to be stuck in a rut in the way he works. <laughs> and take it on board and try something different and have fun with it. <laughs> but yes, that comment really did make me laugh. So thank you, Karina. I do get some lovely comments from people and willing to share what they're working on, telling me so I can look it up. Had... Um, Oh, all sorts of people comment, and I really do appreciate everyone. So even if I don't mention your name as a shout out, then do know that I do read them all. I do try and comment to every comment left. And um, yeah, I have such fun looking up the pictures that you're doing. And sometimes it does give me ideas too. So, for example, somebody was working on a Dreamer Designs canvas and it has got me looking at Dreamer Designs again because I've not bought one from them for ages and I would really like to try one of their new canvas kits. So that's on my radar. I have ordered some Budget Buy diamond paintings and things. So... I think they're going to take a little while to arrive, as did the DIY Moonshop kit I'm working on. And somebody kindly commented and said they are known for taking quite a while to get to people. So it wasn't just me. So if you do order from them, please do be aware that it can take a while to arrive. The person that commented was also in the UK. So... Um, I'm not sure if it would be quicker in the States or not. I think if you're aware of it, it's fine, isn't it? It's you, You're sort of prepared for it to take a, a long time. I just hadn't heard that. But now I'm working on it and I am actually really liking how they're fitting together. The diamonds are also looking good so far. I'm noticing that these reds are sort of going up in a in a line, aren't they? Hmm. Interesting with that dark, dark blue in I wonder if that's going to be some sort of a circle. Okay, C. Oh, it's our silver grey. Oh, it's such a bonny colour, isn't it? It's like a pastel silver. 
so gorgeous. I mean, already we've had some beautiful colours and the contrast between them is fabulous. So different to one another. Okay, so I can see C's all over the place, um, scattered about here, there and everywhere. There look to be quite a few, so let's hope I get them all in one go rather than having to come back and fill in any missed ones. I think as I'm going to do the C's, I'm going to speed up this part of the video, get these in and I'll see you for the next colour. Okay, that is the C's done. Now, this cover protector is starting to rustle quite a bit, so I am going to actually remove it. So, sorry little doggy friend, you're coming off. And then I'll place that back on later. It was just making quite a noise. Anyway, cheers. Now, looking at the silver grey, do you think that looks like a branch of some sort with leaves on? Ooh, we might have got a bit more clue there. We're moving on to the Fs, oh, which is a green. Oh my goodness, it's a beautiful green as well. <gasps> really lovely spring green. Again, we've got these um, lines of fours <laughs> going on. Just intriguing. Really, really intriguing. Well, got to like a checkerboard there. Am I on F? Yes. Hmm. Are they the F's done? I think that's it for F. <laughs> I can't see any more. Right. By the way, I am using the Diamond Art Club tray. I do prefer them. So this isn't the tray that comes with DIY Moon Shop, if you're unaware. This is the Diamond Art Club. Capital R, we're going to do next. What colour's that? Ooh, a dark grey. And it's a grey with, a, it's like a blue grey, a dark blue grey, this one. So we're filling in the checkerboard. I know I keep going quiet, I'm just intrigued about what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I think as well, because the symbols are harder to see, I do have to concentrate a little bit more than I usually do. Not that it's not fun, it's really fun, but I do have to search out a little bit more than usual. 
and my head is just trying to work out the puzzle. I don't know if your head's a bit like this too. And I find it like that in my full-time job as well, which I do, I'm an accounts assistant. And I find accounts are a little bit like doing a jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> Probably because I don't understand everything about accounts. I am not a trained in accounts. I just happen to fall into this position. <laughs> don't quite know how it, how it happened and um, yes I always say it's a bit like a jigsaw and people keep running away with some of the pieces and I have to go and find them and put it all together <laughs> I'm sure it sounds a lot more fun than what it is <laughs> um And it looks like that's it for lowercase d as, oh, d as well. So I have no idea what this edge is because it just seems to be putting in colours and then there isn't anything else in the whole section. Hmm. So I've got a lowercase h, and is that the only one? It looks like it is, you know, one little lowercase h, which is oh, this bright pop of purple. There. Hmm. And then I've got a lowercase e down here. And it looks like that's the only lowercase e from a quick scan of the canvas, a brown. There, they made all the difference. <laughs> right, I'm on to capital P and there's quite a few of these ones again. Oh, it's a brighter, tur well, not brighter. Well, yes, it is a bright turquoise and it's a darker hue than the last one. And I can see we've got a little friend or two at the party, so we'll remove those. And we'll place the peas. Ooh, what a fabulous colour! And they go all the way down this section with their random colours in. I wonder if it's a sort of a frame to frame the picture. So we'll have these random bits all the way around it. Maybe that's the idea. Now the peas do go into the section themselves. And again, we've got, it looks like some sort of a checkerboard going on up the side there. So that begs the question, when you diamond paint, do you, do you use the checkerboard as a way of diamond painting? If you've got vast areas in the background to do, does it help if you checkerboard or do little patterns? Doesn't always have to be a checkerboard. I've seen some spirals going on as well. Um, and I don't know if people do that to just ease the boredom or whether they find it helps the placements. I can't say that I've necessarily done that myself. I tend to work in the rows. You've probably seen I work each colour down from the last and then do all of the colours in that section and then so the next one I'll be doing is J because that's the next one that's showing down this row and I don't know how I started doing it that way it just made sense to me it's my inner goblin again <laughs> J is oh, it's a Lovely lilac-y blue, a bit more blue than lilac I would say actually, now it's out, 
lavender blue. Maybe that was what it was because I know we had a lavender when I was kitting up. Lavender blue dilly dilly. Now, is this in those branches that we were talking about? I think it could be part of, oh, do you think it's something like a wisteria perhaps? With those arching branches and that beautiful colour of flower. Ooh, gorgeous. I know I've gone quiet again, I do apologise. <laughs> Concentrating. I think perhaps um, my idea of doing shorts where it's sped up and you can see it being worked on without me talking, or perhaps even time-lapse videos, things like that might be the way to go on this one because I keep going really quiet because I'm concentrating and I think it's the black and white canvas. I think that's um, the issue with the concentration. So I will do some whip and chats and hopefully they'll be a lot more entertaining than this one. <laughs> but yeah, I think really you're probably going to get more photographs on Instagram and Facebook, a few sped up videos and whip and chats every now and again on this one. Um, I was on Facebook this morning actually and I was in one of the diamond painting groups and people were asking what others um, listen to while they're diamond painting. And a lot of people listen to like audio books, that's an idea, or they listen to um, like unsolved crime or crime stories and things like that. It was quite interesting how many people listen to crime mysteries. Oh, now that would be an idea, wouldn't it? Work on a mystery and listen to a mystery. <laughs> yeah, so not many people said that they liked to diamond paint alongside YouTube and listen to other creators. And I thought, oh, that's sad because there are so many of us out there doing um, whip and chats and videos for other diamond painters. But it seems that people tend to listen to more stories, which makes me even more appreciative of my viewers. And I thought, yeah, I've got the loveliest viewers anyway. So I think it's always good to mix it up a bit anyway, isn't it? I know um, I've started listening to some new channels. I uh, will give a shout out to those two channels that I watch. They po post virtually every day. And um, yeah, really, really lovely to listen to. Very different, I think, from what I'm doing in that they are doing a lot of budget buy unboxings um, and they are, I think they're both American. Yes, I th I'm sure they are. And one is Diamond Painting with Sweet Tea. She is adorable. And I love it when she says, oh, that's precious. I love that word, precious. Um, and again, like I say, unboxing budget buys and things like that. And also accessories. Sweet Tea, um, she unboxes accessories and things like that as well. So I find it really interesting to see what other people go for, their choices. So I find that one a good one to watch. And the other one is um, 
Diamond Grandma. And Diamond Grandma, she's got a really homely voice. I find it very cosy to listen to. Um, and she unboxes Budget Buys too. She's really into her flowers and gardens and farmyard animals. So really different to what I'm drawn to. And they tend to be fairly quick videos as well. So I just log in and see what's going on and have a little nose about. So I do watch those. I also watch other people's whip and chats on some of my favorite channels that I subscribe to. And if I'm not listening to YouTube, then I tend to listen to the radio as I'm diamond painting. Um, oh, just noticed, I don't know if you can see that there, but they have, that one there, has quite a lot of bubbling in it. Can you see there? So remove that one and swap it out. And you can get junk in any diamond painting that you do. Hopefully, we want to make sure that there isn't too much junk so that we run out of diamonds, but you can expect to have that in any kit that you do. Yeah, so yes, listening to the radio is always fun whilst you're diamond painting too. Singing along, top voice. Hmm. <laughs> I don't watch television while I'm diamond painting. That's one thing I don't do unless I'm sat in the lounge with a smaller diamond painting on my knee. So like when I was doing the coasters and um, smaller projects, then I can watch television then. But in here, in the conservatory, we don't have a TV. Now it looks like we've got lots of capital B's coming up next. Oh, look, this fabulous bright turquoise. Okay. Oh, it is bright. Oh, wow, that's like neon turquoise, that color. Oh, it's so uplifting, I love it. Right. Because there are quite a few, I'll speed up this little part of the video and I'll see you in a minute. So we've got again another strip down here. It's really intriguing me. I don't know if it's a frame. <laughs> I'm kind of hoping the next random section joins on so I can see if it is a frame or not around the whole picture. And I did see a lowercase a there that I must have missed. So we'll fill that in. And next capital T. Oh, ooh, a purple. Isn't it fabulous changing from one of these colors to the next? Oh, now Monty's at the window barking at probably a bird. Do you know, this morning he was a bit of a scamp because I was in the garden, as I said, and we have quite big pigeons that land on the roof. Oh my goodness, he was in his element chasing these pigeons, barking at them, and they're just, they're just not bothered. And he gets himself all wound up. Uh, if they do fly away of their own accord, he thinks he's absolutely brilliant. He sort of puffs his chest out as if to say, I did that, I did that, I scared them away. But, oh dear. <laughs> so, one of his favourite places is to be by the window on the top of the sofa, looking out, and barking at the birds. And yet, when we take him out for a walk, he hardly ever barks. He only barks here, probably because it's his territory. 
He's protecting us, isn't he? I mean, I don't know what he thinks these birds are going to do, but... <laughs> Next is E, a mid blue, a mid blue blue this, you know, maybe got a slight purpley in it, but not much at all. So, a very nice colour. What do you think? Do you think Forget Me Not? Or Bluebell? Oh, it'll be soon be Bluebell season in the UK. It tends to be around end of April, May for the Bluebells. <gasps> oh, so gorgeous when you see the Bluebells start. The daffodils start to fade a little bit and the bluebells make their appearance. I was looking at the garden this morning and we've got, it's like a wooden structure outside where we've got a seating area. It used to have a hot tub underneath it, but yeah, we got rid of the hot tub when we moved in. It wasn't really something that we enjoyed. It's quite hard actually to get the levels correct on a hot tub. Plus with my hair, I just thought I would end up being a frizz bomb most of the time. <laughs> so um, yes, we got rid of the hot tub and now it's just got some seating area and we use it much, much more by having that. And down the side, it is quite um, shaded and it's got a tree coming up the side. And I was looking at it this morning whilst I was having a nice cup of coffee. Oh, went completely offline there. I was having a nice cup of coffee outside and I was looking down at the bottom and I thought it would be a really good area to plant things like woodland flowers down there at the base of the tree, because it's not a massive area and at the moment, it's got a lovely fern unfolding under the tree. And I thought, well, I could put some ferns under there. And then I could put in some bluebells, some daffodils, some snowdrops. And they will all come up at different times of the year. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking of doing that in that corner. And you would only see it if you were sitting on the seats under the wooden structure. So it would be like a little secret woodland part. <laughs> so that's what I am thinking of for there. And as I, we've got like um, some loose paving stones that we've put against the wooden structure because there's no steps up to it and it can be a, a quite um, a high step up. So I just laid some loose flagstones and I moved them today just to try and make them look a little bit better. And there was a little frog and he was on his side. So he wasn't sat upright. He was sort of squished down the side of this um, paving stone. And I lifted it and he looked at me and he did a really long ribbit like that. <laughs> really cute. And then he did it again ribbit sounds more like a growling dog but anyway it didn't sound like a growling dog it did sound like a froggy and then he did a really slow blink of his big eye and he was I think he was only probably a baby he only looked small and cute and gorgeous and he once he blinked his eye at me off he went he just went Shh, and jumped I think he must have jumped under the wooden structure because he didn't hop away or anything like that he just disappeared <laughs> he just vanished oh he was so cute so he must have come over to say hello and hide in there because I'm always a little bit conscious of tidying up too much of the garden 
<laughs> and this is not an excuse, I promise. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm always a little bit conscious of the lovely wild things that are going on in the garden at this time of year. So I do leave, leave a little bit of leaf still down and a few sticks for the birds and things like that. It's not completely tidied away yet. When I moved the paving, there was quite a few worms and woodlouse and things like that moving about. So there was also a mahoosive spider, but they don't bother me at all. I'm the one in the house that will get rid of spiders if I have to. The one thing that I will not go near if I can help it is wasps. I'm sure I've said before, I've got a fear of wasps. And um, yeah, if they come in, I, I have got a little bit braver, I think. I do open the window instead of just run off screaming. <laughs> Um, but I won't try and ease them out or anything like that. I'll open a window and if they're silly enough not to be able to go through it, then I just have to keep watch. I need to know where they are at all times um, until they go. So anything else I pretty much can tolerate in the garden. But that's probably because I live in the UK, so nothing is really dangerous over here. I don't know how you quite cope if you get snakes. Um, do you just learn to deal with them? Do you let them just do what they want and not disturb them and you wait until they've gone or... I know when we visited Africa and I was like, I would love to have an elephant just come to the doorstep. And they were like, no, because they're so, you just have to wait for them to go. You can't do anything about it. You just, you're late. So people can be late for school or whatever because there was an elephant outside. <laughs> they just have to let them do what they do. I think that would be an amazing problem to have. <laughs> Now, I do think that sky, now I've stopped diamond painting that bit, I think that sky, do you agree? G next, and what will that be? Ooh, it's another blue. Ooh, now then, this one is a paler version of the one before. These are a little bit clumped by the looks of it, but I have just here and there, so I don't need to multi-place these ones. And there is a dryer sheet in the pot, so hopefully that will help sort them out as time goes on. Because I don't mind a little bit of static once they're in the pots, once they're kitted up. But when they clump, it can be such a problem, can't it? I don't know if you're seeing more definition than me whilst I'm putting these diamonds in. But I'm not seeing that much contrast between these last two colours. There will be some because they are tonally the same. So they will have a little slight difference. But when you're close up to it, you can't always see it yourself until you stand back and look. But on the camera, you do tend to see it a bit better. still intrigued what that line is there because it is so dark compared to the rest
Right, next we're going to do O. Ooh, a darker blue. To pop into these areas here. There's a T I've only just seen as well. Must have missed that one earlier. And I think that's it for O because, oh uh, no, they're Ds, so they're catching me out a little bit. I think that's it for O. Next we'll do, did I do you? I think I did, so that must have been one that I missed there. Did I do you? Because this is a, I can't remember doing a gingerbread colour. Oh, did I there? Okay. And I'm, I definitely did a C, so I've missed that one. Here we go. This is where we find all the little odd ones that I didn't do before. And I hope that it hasn't been annoying you too much and shouting at you because sometimes if you see it and somebody doesn't <laughs> I've got a T which is this purple that we did before right and I'm sure I did those R's And that's a D, G, have I just done G? I think I have, oh. And I think I've done F as well and I can see an F. Here. Oh, that was a green that we had down here. So maybe I didn't look properly at the canvas. Oh, there's another one there as well. Oh, that nearly caught me out. Oh, it's nice having that little hint of green. Right, we'll do D next. Which is a pale denim type blue. Oh, actually, not as denim as I thought in the pot. Now, there are a few in this area here. I think that really dark semicircle has divided the picture, hasn't it? It's like this side, this side. Okay, we're going to do M's next. And they travel oop, up that semicircle as well. So what color is M? Oh, it's a bright, it's the royal blue, purple, well, it's more purple, blue, purple, royal. <laughs> it's a bright, gorgeous colour, that's what it is. And again, I'm concentrating because the M's and the W's look quite similar. So I want to make sure that I... Don't put it in the W square instead. Okay. So let's do the W's next. What colour will they be? Ooh, a dark colour. I can hear something buzzing. Is it in or is it out? Oh, it's outside. It's a really big fat bumblebee. I don't know if you can hear that. Wow, beautiful bumblebee. Okay, so we've got this deep dark blue along the edge of the other dark blue. 
So that's not really giving us any clues. Okay, I can see a lowercase a or two there, and I definitely did those earlier. So we'll have to fill in lowercase a. And then we'll do Zs. I wonder, just by saying that, do you ever do like, right, I'll start with A <laughs> and I'll go through the alphabet. <laughs> do you ever do it that way rather than filling in when you get to the symbol? That would be interesting to know. My mum commented that she tends to go in number order Mum does smaller canvases. She doesn't really like the bigger ones. She likes the finish of the bigger ones, but she doesn't think she'd have enough patience to do one herself. And so she does all one colour, all the next colour and so on until she's finished. So do you ever do that by letter as well? Is that the way you work? I do when they're smaller projects like the coasters. That's what I did because otherwise you'd be forever. <laughs> <laughs> placing one diamond, putting it away, placing the next. So that made sense. To, oh, I've got a little A there as well again. Um, that made sense to do it that way. But if you're working on a bigger canvas, do you do, you do it by number or by letter, by alphabet? So we've got a lowercase t. Not many left now in this little section. A deep dark green and then we've got capital N <gasps> Ooh. look oh that's gorgeous this kit has so many fabulous colors I'm really enjoying the change in colorway from the blue to this gorgeous corally pink red. Lowercase r again. <laughs> And we've got one at number four. I think that's our first number this time. Another deep purple red there. A U, which I think we did last time down here. It's that gingerbread colour again. I missed there. We've got a capital T that I did, which is this purple. They've been a bit naughty, haven't they, this time? Keep finding the odd ones around, dotted around. Let's do this H here. We've got one of those, then we've got one K, and then we'll finish with the Y. So we didn't have any ABs this time. Oh, look at this. This is one of those pretty sage, very, very pale sage greens. So what's the Y colour? Oh, we're finishing with the pink. Oh, oh it's quite a full pot, that one. I must have squeezed those in whilst I was kitting up. <laughs> A nice bright bubble gum. That is definitely a bubble gum. And there we have it. First section. Ta da! Isn't it bright? Oh, wow. I love the colours on that. So, my first thoughts for this picture is one, I love the fact that. There is no white showing through. They are sitting 
really nicely together. I really love the bright colours in this one. I think that might be a bit of frame around the whole thing. And I'm not sure what that is. And that looks like some sort of a branch coming down, like a ferny branch. That's it. They're the only thoughts. <laughs> I have to say, it's been really fun working on it. I do think the black and white canvas is harder to see. And I am... I have had to concentrate a bit more than usual to get them right. And I did miss a few. Apart from that, I really enjoyed working on this. So lovely. So again, please do remember to catch up with me on Instagram or Facebook to watch the progress of this diamond painting. I will put videos on here too. So please do make sure that you're subscribed. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining me today and I really hope that you enjoy your own diamond painting. Until next time, take care. Bye.